the bat-pollinated vine of Central America's rainforests, offers nighttime navigation to recruit its pollinators, an offering to the night's creatures. The vine is born with a purpose, not just striving for sunlight from the forest floor through barriers aplenty, seeking the canopy's light, but also ensuring its inconspicuous flowers get pollinated. Few mediums penetrate the dark. Other than scent, there's sound. And the vine opts for the latter, in utter silence. There's a creature adept at nocturnal navigation. Enter the long-tongued bat, with a tongue 1.5 times its body length. In flight, these bats emit a series of ultrasonic pulses, echoing off objects into their ears. Using these echoes, they deftly avoid obstacles. A sonar skill unmatched, the vine, savvy to the bat's flight tech, rigged its flowers with a tweak, a subtle but crafty nudge. Its petals, mirror smooth, reflect ultrasonic waves better than any plant catching the bat's attention. The bat listens and immediately recognizes it as a sign. Unlike the corpse flower stinginess, the vine rewards the bat with abundant nectar. With its elongated tongue, it drinks in nectar to its heart's content. Tenfold what any standard blossom could offer. Of course, the vine's no charity. It expects a little something in return. A floral quid pro quo. Inside, a floral self-destruct sequence is primed, sensing the bat's departure. It detonates in a puff of pollen. coating the furry forager in a cloud of potential progeny. On visiting another vine, the bat seals the deal, and pollination is achieved, an unwitting cupid of the night. In the world, there's no shortage of fragrance and gorgeous flora, but the corpse flower and bat pollinated vine opted out, dodging a face off with the daytime bloomers, their twilight strategy bloom and pollinate under cover of darkness, securing a dedicated pollinator squad and boosting their odds of reproductive success. On this off-Broadway stage, they showcase a life force, uniquely vibrant and distinctly their own.